Hello! It's Thursday, March 20th. It's the first day of spring. We made it to another season. Can you believe it? I was diagnosed in summer and now it's springtime. And got my hair, my eyebrows, new boobs, and I'm gonna see Dr. Panashi for the first time in a long time since my last chemo actually. Yeah, I think it was the last time I saw my oncologist, so I'm gonna surprise him with my new do, my new boobies, show him my battle wounds, and hopefully everything's okay, because I guess that's what he's gonna tell me. He's gonna check out my blood work and just check out how I'm feeling. And I think I'm feeling fine. <laughs> I've been really like into juicing and I had this mean green cancer fighting machine green juice this morning and um, no coffee and I'm super hyper. So that's what's up. And I'm also gonna ask him about when I can remove Mr. Powerport. It's time to feel like a normal person again. I don't need this. Get it out of me. I'll tell you guys what he says. Now let's take it home. I'm tired. It's early. It's not even nine yet. Good night. So, question of the day. Did you know that you had to get your power port irrigated every six weeks if it's not in use? I did not know. <laughs> no one told me. So I asked Dr. Panashi if I could get my port account out, and he said I should keep it for at least one year because he calls himself conservative, so he thinks it's best that I should keep it in for precaution. But uh, last time we used this was my last chemo in January 13, and I'm back. You guys recognize? Not too fun to be back. <laughs> sitting in this chair, hence why I'm not getting too comfortable. But we need to get the power port flushed every six weeks. So if you guys didn't know, now you know. Now I know. Because it could claw. It's not good. I don't want to get an infection. Let's flush this. Mm. 